Hey everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and I'm back with another video featuring new Spellbinders products and today I want to look at embellishing intricate die cuts. I am using some of the new Spellbinders capabilities. This is the Nordic Floral Edged Die Set and I absolutely love it. It's super intricate and you know I love floral um, elements and decorative elements so I'm just very very excited about that. And I'm also going to be using these decaled rectangles, which are, I don't think they're sold anymore, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but I'm going to use them anyway. And these gilding flakes. So I'm going to start out by um, putting some double-sided adhesive on a piece of cardstock. If you do not have gilding flakes and don't want to buy any, you could also use embossing powder and, you know, like heat emboss. Um, for example, you could use embossing paste. So there are a lot of different uh, possibilities. So um, I have the sticky side here of the double-sided adhesive tape which is adhered to cardstock and I'm just covering it with my gilding flakes very carefully because these thingies are very light and if you like sneeze or something they're all over the place. So hold your breath while you're doing it basically that's what I'm saying. And to uh, make sure they will stay in place and they're all very shiny I'm using this scrubby tool and I'm basically just scrubbing off all the excess. You're not hurting it, um, you know, like you're not getting everything off or something. It will stick to the, um, to the adhesive and this way you just have a very nice textured, um, how do you call it, like background, like you're making basically your own specialty paper maybe. That's how you could think of it. I am using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine to cut through this. Um, it took a little bit of effort but it cut through eventually even though because there is um, this layer of adhesive there they really stuck to the um, to the die but that's why you have special tools for which um, Spellbinders graciously provided me with as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's by default included with the die cutting machine but this tool really comes in handy and you can see it's very easy to get everything out of the die and then you have this intricate die cut, super super intricate and it is so shiny. Now for putting everything together I have a piece of white cardstock here where I'm, uh, I'm just putting a ton of adhesive on the back and then I'm mounting it onto a piece of craft cardstock. So this is just, you know, just mounting it on there. And now I uh, am going to, oh actually that wasn't, that wasn't white cardstock, sorry, that was craft foam. I was already wondering why I was doing that. So that was craft foam, so instead of using a lot of to uh, foam tape, I just used craft foam. Um, then I put some uh, string around it and just because I wanted it to, I, because I wanted to stay in the, like in the texture theme and I feel that the string really adds some, or the natural twine adds some really nice texture to this card, especially since I thought this, um, I would turn this into a condolence card. So I wanted to keep the color scheme very simple, but I also wanted it to be, um, I don't know, rich in texture, just something, you know, interesting, uh, but not like in your face garish or anything. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, I can't find the right words to explain this, what I, what I really meant. And I used some foam tape behind those intricate die cuts to adhere them to this piece. So you can see here that the dove and the flowers very, very intricate. Um, and it just looks very interesting with the texture you create with the gilding flakes. Here are some close-ups so you can see just how perfectly those dies cut and how fantastic the gilding flakes um, create, what kind of texture they create, what kind of interest. Of course, you don't have to turn this into a condolence card. You can make a happy card, obviously. But I just found it's very impressive that I could embellish these intricate die cuts so easily. It was uh, just something different. And I, I think I should use this technique more often because I really like the effect. I hope you got inspired. I hope you check out the new products from Spellbinders, which are listed in the video description below or on my blog, which is also linked in the video description. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.